people of culture of this modern. But today I have some quick facts about Russia and Africa, concerning Russia Africa, concerning the Russia as a European country that are against Russia. But I want to take you, take you through these, some of the concerned facts about Russia and Africa. Then I will just tap a little bit concerning about Russia and other European countries. So, uh, during the trade, in that is why, in 1600 to 1800, Russia had, had never had any black self-traders for self-trade for all African people. During self-trade, it, it had never evolved in those things. And even to create a market for the trade people, that is during uh, AD 100, 1600 to 1800, Russia had never done that against the African continent, among other continents, among other European countries, that it did so. Even Russia has never participated in the Berlin Conference that it was, uh, it was in 1884. I think, if I can remember very well, that is what was in 1884. That Berlin Conference, it's where they sat and they organized the way how they divide Africa, the way how they take Africa to be their garden, to be their everything. So that's the reason why many people, many countries, they are against Russia because Russia is acting or is working under humanity. That's the problem. We do Africans, some of them they are supporting Russia, others are not supporting Russia, but the fact is Russia is working under humanity and humanitarian laws. That's how other European countries are, are doing their things. They are not working under humanity. Yes, though they take themselves as if they are working under humanity and they know that they are working under humanitarian laws, but indeed they are not among those the qualities of the country that we need to be. Because they normally degrade Africa. They take Africa as their garden. They take Africa as their each and everything they want. So that's the reason. During the Berlin Conference in 1884, Russia didn't attend, didn't participate in that, in that conference. That's the second reason. I want you to go to get me well. Some of these facts. The reason those are the facts why now why many European countries they are against Russia because Russia didn't uh, interfere in anything, anything disrupt Africa, anything concerning about African dismantling Africa, scrambling partition of Africa. Russia didn't participate, and this is this is the organization of NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The way how it works, it is working even not into the roles, the way for them they just normally work for their own benefits. That's why Russia is normally against them. So I want to take it through to point number three, colonialism. Colonialism uh, and uh, rooting of Africa. That is, it was in 19, 1914 to 1960. 1914, 1960, they were how those European countries, they colonized us. They put us under colonialism. They had developed us. They rooted our sins. But Russia didn't. Instead, Russia was supporting Africa to develop itself, to develop its, its technology. But as a country, they can't share the technology to us. To be sincere, you can know which country or which continent that is supporting Africa in technology? If not Russia, those Western countries where they normally take that money, they bank that money from those countries, but Russia refuses such a things to act or to happen in its territories because they normally they have their slogan and say that the little you have, keep that little you have into your pocket, grow your pocket. They are suffering because of those guys. France. Uh, taking a post on West African countries. That's how they are suffering right now. Good it has, good it has ever. 
because of the Western countries, because they block all those things to root up our minerals, gold, diamond, platinum, psyllium, each and every thing. When Russia came in and interfered in those things, that argument was saying that where they have reached, they should not exceed the boundaries. But they keep on provoking Russia. They want to squeeze it, even to its boundaries. And that no man is not the thing in courts. They wanted to take that thing. And the reason why now Russia came in and rounded out its voice. How we have read and this or this and this, terms and conditions, but we have break the rules and conditions. So in why next Russia invaded Ukraine. The reasons why Russia told the US Western country that it will not stop anything that is happening in Europe, in Ukraine, because it has its mandate. And those who want to engage him, let them engage him. But, fair viewers, fair listeners, I want you to, to rethink and to rethink one or to synchronize your mind. Just to do the flower about Russia and Africa, about Russia and humanity. It's when you will understand the reason why many people, why many Western countries are against Russia. Because they normally say that those who are supporting humanity, those are the artillery, those are the rebel leaders, and which it is not. Those who are taking themselves to be nice, they are the ones who are doing all those things. Uh, number six or uh, like point number six, dissemination, disseminates. Russia has never disseminated any of our African freedom, but the Western countries did that. I want to you for you, our listeners, our followers, first ask yourself, those who are watching us, first ask yourself, uh, in 1963, when they are forming AU, that is African Union in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I remember very well, according to the books, I read the books, that of revolutionary book by Kwame Nkrumah, uh, there is another book, Political Slavery, by Mother Teresa, Thomas Sankara, uh, yeah, Malcolm X. Ask yourself, why by that time, in 1963, when Kwame Kuruma came up and stood up and said that we are following African Union to make that is our one Africa. But the reason is many of them, because they were supporting Western culture, they didn't agree with Kwame Kuruma. At the end of the day, they killed Kwame Kuruma. I want you to first ask yourself why many of our freedom fighters, many of our African strong leaders were killed in the Brago War, in Brago in Cold Blood. As we assassinated, like someone Sankara at the age of 36. He lived in Burkina Faso in five years. They killed someone Sankara, they killed, they killed Patrice uh, Emil Rumba in Congo. Because Patrice Emil Rumba was fighting for it, for his country, to, to get good things. Because you know Congo, in the whole world, is the richest country in the minerals. They killed him take its resources. The kid Malcolm X, uh, King Louis, no, not King Louis, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. They killed very many people, our African freedom fighters, those who are the strongest of Africa. That's the reason why Russia has ever been against the European things. Of recent in in Chad, Mali, uh be a good dance. Uh Guinea Bissau recently. Right now we they are chasing France. French people they are chased, they are being chased away from there. Reason being, they are how they're exporting our